Hey folks, I'm Private Hudson and this is Red Shit. <clears throat> My apologies, what I meant to say was Red Shirt. Red Shirt is essentially Facebook meets Star Trek, except in the future Facebook is called... Wait for it... Spacebook. Yes, that's mighty clever, isn't it? Red Shirt comes off as a cute little game chock full of science fiction and pop culture references. The term Red Shirt itself was used for characters who wore Red Shirt in the original Star Trek series. This character would show up only for one episode and his sole purpose would be to die, to show off the power of the villain of the episode. Kind of like how black people are used in horror movies. Red Shirt puts you in a similar position. You are the lowest ranked individual on a space station. Conveniently enough, as you just arrived, the space station is going to explode in 160 days and the only ones allowed to leave are the highest ranking individuals. Everyone else gets to stay and die. So your goal is obviously to find a way to get off the station. Red Shirt is kind of like a text-based version of The Sims, except it isn't any good. The concept itself is a nice one. You have a set amount of actions per day, and you need to keep a balance in your life. You need to balance your job, your happiness, and your relationships. Spend too much time training yourself to get promoted, and your happiness and health is gonna go down. Spend too much time lounging around or hanging out, and you'll never get high enough position to get off the station. It's all about balance, but the problem with the game is it just never fucking goes anywhere. After work and on your days off, you had a set amount of actions that you can do, like hang out with your friends, go out on dates, Post statuses and message people on fucking Spacebook, what a stupid fucking name. And so on and so forth. The problem is that all these interactions are all samey and are extremely limited. Posting a status on Spacebook automatically generates one for you. You have no control over what you say for the most part. The game selects sentences from its very small database pool. Want to post a quote or a song lyric? It does so automatically. Want to flirt with someone? Just select them and once again, the game takes a sentence from its small database pool and just posts it. Want to send someone a message? Well, this time around you can fucking select four sentences. Uh, the rest of the game is pretty much the same. Work is always the same. Doesn't matter what fucking job you have. Everything is automatic. Sometimes an event occurs and you get a random bonus or a penalty depending on what happened. Doing an event is the same thing. Either you go by yourself or select people who have a similar interest in that type of event. Start it, read a shortened sentence that tells you how the event went, have relationships go up either up or down, and that's it. Red Shirt is fun for about an hour. But realistically, everything that you see and experience for the first half hour just fucking repeats itself until the game ends. What originally started with me laughing at the various references, nerdy jokes, sci-fi shit, ended up with me spamming the skip text button for the remainder of the game. Red Shirt starts out nicely. You have the lowliest position and a few friends. The way the game progresses in the early portion makes sense. Each job you have gives you boosts to certain stats every time you work. Once those stats level up, you can then apply to slightly better jobs. It all makes sense. The skills you learn help you progress further. Until you reach around the rank 3 jobs, then the game just fucking takes a 180. All of a sudden, the skills you are learning on your current job do nothing to help you get promoted. They're no longer necessary. So you're forced to use some of your free time attending either conventions or doing some solo events to train the skills you need to get promoted further. You can also buy items that passively increase some stats on a daily basis. However, they only last a few days before they break, so you constantly need to repair them. And what really fucking bothers me is that these stats, these skills, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they're completely pointless. They don't fucking mean anything. It doesn't matter if you're level 8 in engineering or maxed out in assertiveness. They're just contrived ways to grind the game out. Think of it as an MMORPG. Instead of collecting 10 beaver pelts so you can get to the next fucking quest, you're spending your free time leveling up tedious paperwork. And I'm not kidding, that's an actual fucking stat in this game. Just so you can apply to the next tier job. The only stats that actually matter are your health and happiness. Fall too low in these categories, and you'll find yourself getting a visit to the med bay, where they will bleed you drive credits, just like your standard American hospital. The further you get into the game, the more tedious and grindy it becomes. Nothing new is introduced. Instead, the shit you've been doing before gets doubled and fucking tripled and quadrupled. You get more and more Spacebook friends, since every time you get a new job, you get new co-workers. Everyone starts spamming your fucking wall in your fucking inbox. If you don't read their messages, they get upset. If you don't interact with them, they start feeling jealous and neglected. Then they will start sending you hate mail and leaving you nasty posts, which lowers your happiness because you're a fucking sensitive twat. 
your girlfriend will start bitching about how you don't spend every moment of your fucking waking life with her. And the jobs. Oh god, the promotions. Must level up quote unquote pandering to authority. <sighs> Redshirt also starts breaking itself the further you get into the game. Everyone starts falling in love with you. You get relationship requests from just about everybody. Doesn't matter if you're straight. Homosexuals will be flirting with you. Even if you're in a relationship, people will be sending you flirty messages and posts and ask to be in a relationship with you. They'll ask you out on dates and so on and so forth. If you're still playing Redshirt at this point, it's simply because you want to grind up that last stupid skill so you can get promoted and be one step closer to ending this masochistic experience just so that you can review yet another shitty game on YouTube. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Redshirt isn't a hard game. It's tedious, it's repetitive, it's grindy, but at the same time, it's very easy. There are numerous win conditions. Hell, I beat the game 80 days in. That's right, I beat the game in half the time I was given. There are some ways to tweak the difficulty, but they leave a lot to be desired. When making a new game, you have a few sliders that you can control, such as the rate of bigotry, uh, arrogance, chattiness uh, among the residents of the space station, but you don't have individual control over these sliders. Increasing one slider decreases all the others. What? Why can't I have a space station that's full of arrogant racists? Why is it just more of one category and less of the others? That's... That doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you one other thing that doesn't fucking make any sense. The stupidest thing about Redshirt are the away missions. These happen randomly, where you and a small group of people get beamed down to a planet and you just fucking stand there and watch them all fucking die. Obviously, this is a reference to the actual Redshirts from Star Trek, but it doesn't add anything to the game. Instead, it just pisses you off. I've lost four girlfriends in one playthrough because they just kept dying in these stupid away missions. You, ha you have no control over anything. You sit there, you read text, and you watch them die. If your actual health and happiness is low, then you can actually fucking die too. Redshirt is also pretty buggy. During some events, there are three dialogue options to choose from, but the third one never fucking works. Also, I found this hilarious glitch. If a person is a homosexual, and you're of the opposite gender, hilariously enough, you can still fucking date them. Flirting with them will get you positive points and negative points at the same time, which is silly. Sending them private messages will get you positive points. Asking them to be in a relationship with you will get you huge negative points. However, 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 doing a romantic event with them immediately follows up with them asking you to be in a relationship with them. Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. Why do they accept to be on a romantic event to begin with? Who, who the fuck knows? Relationships themselves are an absolute pain. Each character has three main interests. To keep a relationship going, you need to go on romantic events. However, not each interest has a corresponding romantic event associated with it. Very few actually do. So then, they will bitch until they break up with you for not doing any romantic activities with them. You are out of space what the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes they will refuse to meet up with you because you have someone on your friends list who they despise. Despite the fact that they have that person themselves on their fucking friends list. And more often than not, your partner will be too busy at work or doing their own events so you can't even take them out on the date. But they will still bitch about it. It's pretty obvious that these characters aren't real characters. It's just a randomly generated picture followed by a name taken from a pool of names written in some file who spout sentences taken from another file and the only difference of their attitude towards you is if you hang out with them or if you ignore them. No one really reacts to anything. Someone's lover dies in an away mission. They don't give a shit. They'll ask you to be in a relationship the very next fucking day. This quote-unquote social game is completely devoid of life. Beating the game unlocks an endless mode, but why the fuck would you want to play that? Redshirt has no replay value, doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, male, female, human, alien, so on and so fucking forth, your experience will be the same for every fucking playthrough. Redshirt is an utter shit game. Voided at all costs, I paid a whole 
two American dollars for it from GOG.com, and it wasn't fucking worth it. Go on Facebook and troll your friends. It's free, and I guarantee that you'll have a lot more fun. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.